you're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. Can you tell me about how you and Yuck Mouth fell out? Um, me and Yuck Mouth fell out. Me and Yuck fell out because I did an album with Gonzo. Yeah. And at the time, Gonzo was like, I guess, leaving the regime or something, but him and Yuck were still friends. Yeah. And I was I was in Florida with uh with Gonzo and he showed me a DM he had got from Yuck Mouth. Like, don't be around that sucker ass white boy, we gonna smack him or something. Like and I was like, Oh, all right. So I seen that message and it was basically like you was talking some wild shit. Yeah. So from from my standpoint, that's how it was. Gonzo showed me the DMs, the direct messages from him from uh Yuck Mouth to him and then from there, I, I went down to a show. I, I seen Yuck Mouth had a show in San Diego. Yeah. So I showed up, I took, I pulled up, and me and a bunch of my homies from Compton in, in the Bay Area drove down there like four or five cars and some of my San Diego homies. And yeah. we just went into a show and uh, he was pulling up to the show and I hopped in his limo. He was like, man, what's up, man? Let me get an autograph. I'm like, bounce out. I like, went around the security and went into the limo and was trying to, I was like, man, shake my hand and then, he canceled the show and sped off and my yeah. homie like tried to punch the window out and all kind of shit with it and fucked his hand up. Yeah. That's how I really went in. And then my homies was running with Suge Knight at the time doing security for him. So they had took his jewelry over there, some Safeway in LA. Yuck filed a police report to get his insurance back on the on the jewelry. So yeah. a lot of my homies was looking at it like, man, you you the police, bro, for that. Like yeah. went and called the police and was telling him it's Suge Knight and all this shit. Yeah. That's how we dove into that. That's yeah. how I, I really, I used to do uh, shows with Yuck Mouth in Seattle and all that shit. And yeah. I really just, I didn't like the way he operated in general too. Like I, it was a lot of people I did time with and they had bought verses from Yuck. And when they went to go to our shows and whatnot, they would be like, well, Yuck, and he ain't answering my calls and being weird. Like yeah. he was just a scary kind of dude. And yeah. I, I, I ain't like that. Like if I know you, I'm gonna tap in. We gonna, we could politic it face to face. I ain't like ducking nobody out here in the streets. Yeah. 